Hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com and in today's video, what I would like to share with you is a simple, easy, fast, and free way that you can go about scraping reviews. Now this tutorial will walk you through how to scrape small business reviews or local business reviews, but the tools and the process that I'm going to share with you could be used for almost any site. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's get directly into it. So the very first thing I want to point out to you is that I am on a Windows PC. I'm utilizing Google Chrome. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, again, I'm using a PC. It's not a Mac and I'm using Google Chrome. All right. So the first thing that we will need is we need to go and get the data scraper or we need to get the review scraper. So what I utilize for this to make it easy, fast and free is data scraper chrome extension okay and that's actually the search term that you're going to want to utilize and you're looking for the second result here which is called the instant data scraper now i'm not being i'm not you know i'm not promoting this tool it's, i've used a lot of them and this one works the best of the ones that i've tried all right so what you will do is you'll click on this instant data scraper it looks just like this they utilized a pokeball very interesting it's a featured instant data scraper and what you'll want to do next is add it it'll be a button here it'll say add to chrome click that button it says add to chrome which will be right here the next step will be go up here to the puzzle pieces and then you'll want to utilize the thumbtack in order to get it into your chrome extension toolbar Okay, so once it's inside the Chrome toolbar, the extension toolbar, the very next thing is we need to know what type of business are we going to be scraping, right? So I don't know what industry you're in. It doesn't matter the industry, but for this tutorial, we will be scraping personal injury lawyers in Los Angeles. So head on over to google.com. Okay, so google.com forward slash maps. Okay, whoops my mistake or better yet do it this way go to google click on more then go to map. google.com forward slash maps you can do it any way you want the next piece is we want to go ahead and search for the type of business that we want to scrape whether it's a location plus a particular industry so again personal los angeles that's what we'll be scraping in this tutorial once you have the list of businesses for your area and your keywords that you're looking for the very next step will be to go ahead and open up their actual knowledge panel about the reviews and their business. So we're looking down the list, we're looking for a business that might have a lot so we can get a clear understanding of what kind of keywords they're using, how many reviews they have, what kind of all different SEO factors that might be important to you in your business, right? When generating or getting reviews. What we're looking for is a business that has a lot of them, right? So I could see here that this one has 230 Five. So we're going to go ahead and click on that business. The next element will be go up here to the Pokeball or the data scraper. And we will want to go ahead and fire that up. But before we do that, let's click on reviews. Okay. And now we'll, we'll want to click on this button. Now, as you can see, I'm not sure if you noticed this or not, but a red outline has formed around particular tables that are on the page. Regardless of what you're scraping, this is what will happen. You'll either see a green highlight or a red outline with yellow. This will indicate which area on the page that the tool is going to scrape, all right? Now, if you need to change this, you will click on try another table and you will see the yellow go to different areas. So depending on the website that you're trying to scrape with this tool, you, you, you might need to change the table of what it's scraping or maybe it's not giving you the right data. Again, click the try another table button. Now, the next step of this is we want to go ahead and open up as many reviews as we possibly can. I wanna point out if the reviews are being truncated, like this one here if you want the information and you want all of it you will need to go down manually and open up these little uh, blocks but for me I'm really just looking for the reviews that are short and punchy small I'm not necessarily overly concerned with these massive reviews but for the for this tutorial I will share with you how this is done so we're going through the list here all right we want to open up as many of these as we can so we'll scroll down the page see how there's see how it's in red see how it's highlighting it we're gonna keep going, okay? We're gonna keep it going. I will go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna let it 
open up a bunch of these pages, all right? So this way we won't have to continuously do it when we're running the tool. See how it's opening up each of these pages and it's just scrolling and going, right? Another thing that you can do is you can actually do this while the tool is running. And I wanna point out some settings on the tool now. Now that we've opened up the business, we've clicked the business, we've clicked reviews on the pop-out on Google Maps, we can now go up here to the Pokeball, okay, or the data scraper or the data miner. I like to make it a little bit bigger for your sake, so that way you can see it a little better. We wanna make sure that the data that we're looking for is inside of the brackets and it's being showcased, which it is, so that's, perf that's perfect. What the next step is, is you want to click on infinite scroll. And then you will want to set your delay to 25, and then you'll want to make the maximum delay 30. This way, there's no issues with its scraping performance. Depending on your location and what you're scraping, you can either make this faster or slower. But if you're having trouble with data scraping, make the, the delay a lot longer, and you'll notice that the results will get a lot better. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we will set the infinite scroll minimum 25 maximum 30 and now what we will do is we will click on the start crawling button as soon as that start crawling takes place what i'll do is i'll click this and i'm going to point down like this and we're just going to let the tool run okay so as we can see here oh that's not the right one i believe it's the bigger one let's close these down right so it looks like we have started to crawl these but let's go ahead and get a few more here. Oh, here we go. We'll go 25 to 30 and we will start crawling. So you will notice that the pages scraped and the rows collected will start to increase. So we'll just keep going here, right? Now, because of the delay, it will seem like it's taking a little bit of time because it is, but it's a lot faster than doing it manually. So we will just keep helping it out as far as opening up the pages and as we can see we've scraped one page now two pages as you can see 245 rows okay so we just keep going here and i don't want this video to be too long so i'll just stop it here because i believe you get the point here we're just scraping each of the reviews so i will stop this and i'll show you the next step because this is relatively easy to look at and to see, but say we want to single out these particular reviews only so we could look at them or, you know, check the keywords, however you're utilizing this data. The next step will be we want to either export in CSV or XLSX, aka an Excel spreadsheet, right? So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So we will export this. All right, and then I just utilize Drive because I can simply take this sheet here. We could go to Downloads, grab the sheet that we just did. We can drag it into here. We will replace the existing one. I'll open it up. And then what I like to do is I like to clean up all of the rows except for where the reviews are so I could start seeing it. So we can see here that this is where the reviews are right here. So what I'll do is I'll just go like this. Right click, I'll highlight all of them. I'll right click, delete columns A, to A through K. I'll then go B through whatever it is. I'll right click and I'll delete those columns. And then I'll make this a little bit bigger. And then while it's highlighted, I'll make this a little bit bigger so I can actually see it. And now we have all of the reviews that were inside of that particular business's profile. So we can now utilize that data however we want.